top. As you can tell, it's a little windy. <sighs> What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is gonna be a vlog. Um, it is Friday. I had a very busy week, like an extremely busy week, and I am tired, I'm exhausted. So I figured this weekend, I'd wake up super early on Saturday for a photo mission. I mean, that just makes sense, right? If I'm super tired right now, I might as well just continue being super tired. So that's what's gonna happen tomorrow. I have a goal of going up this place I've never gone to, and it's very popular in the area. It's called Angel's Rest. As of right now, we are looking at the cloud coverage that I need to happen. So with that said, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up very early, probably about 4 a.m., 3.30 a.m., get everything ready. Hopefully going to be picking up my friend to come with me so that I'm not doing this alone. It's gonna be dark, it's gonna be cold. It's been in the low 20s here in the morning. Not to mention that we have a lot of east winds pushing in from the gorge, which is where we will be, so I'm not looking forward to that either. But I do wanna get out and do something. I do wanna go take pictures, I think, this weekend's not gonna be great for taking pictures. It's gonna be overcast after tomorrow morning, which is why I'm hoping the weather holds out like it says it's going to right now. Based on all the information I have, should be okay. Stuff that I'm bringing with me, I brought, I grabbed a bunch of hand warmers from work because I know it's gonna be cold. I've never used hand warmers before, which is weird, but I, I was like, man, that might be a good idea. So I'm really hoping that helps out tomorrow. So yeah, see you tomorrow morning when I'm making coffee at three in the morning. She says she's asleep in this morning. And I totally understand that. It's <laughs> let my car warm up and then we're gonna head out. Need some coffee. <laughs> So just pulled in, it's dark. Um, man, I was being thrown around so much by the wind, I could just feel it. I mean, when I was driving, I should should have just picked up my camera and filmed it, but there was, an, I saw an American flag, a giant one, like 100 by 200. It was huge and it was just completely blown, just completely, God, I can see the trees right now. It is, <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be so windy, oh my God. Good news is the clouds look like they're doing exactly what I thought they're gonna be doing. Feel my car being shaken by the wind. Oh God, this is gonna be rough. I'm a little nervous because I don't know what it's like up top as far as vegetation goes. And so when we're doing longer exposures, that's gonna be a big problem with the wind shaking the vegetation or anything that's up there. So I don't, I mean, I don't know. I might have to focus stack it as far as that goes. But I mean, time to get things moving, man. Super windy, cold, we'll hit the bottom. We're gonna get layered up and we're gonna head out. Full disclosure, I brought way too many layers. I've never had this problem. 
ever. 32 years old. First time ever wearing too many layers on a hike. I generally never wear enough and I'm freezing on cold hikes like this. I need a cool down. Wow. Kinda hope it's chilly at the top. Not the view I thought it was going to be, but still sick. Layering back up because I got what I wanted. Too cold. Then I'm going to climb up on these rocks and try to find some shots, baby. Right. Hello. So, that didn't go as planned. At all. None of it. None of it would have planned. But, I mean, you know, it's, it is what it is. So I'm back home now. I couldn't film anything. I, I could barely take a damn picture. That was, that was rough. So a couple things. I kind of want to review what happened. Uh, as I got up there, I, I realized it was way more windy than I thought it was going to be. The east winds from the gorge just picked up this week and I thought it would be okay. Like today it was, it was pretty bad. Like on my way out there, there was that flag that was just completely full mass. It was just blowing in the wind. So went up. I literally was trying to hold my, I, I don't know how many times I got blown over, fell over, hit the rocks, like just trying to walk. I was walking sideways, crouched, and all of a sudden it would just hit me and I just fall. I couldn't, I feel like it was in a hurricane. It was that bad. It was crazy. I've never felt wind that bad ever. Man, it was so cold. One of those moments where like, I just want to go back and kick myself in the face and just how many times I put my foot in my mouth every time I wish for something stupid like that. It was, it was windy up top and it got cold. I'm glad I brought all of the clothes that I did. I kept trying to film things and shoot things, but man, the more I just got out to the open field of that area, it was too sketchy with the camera. I had it as low to the ground as I can put it. I, I mean, it was just, it would just fly. So yeah, I didn't get to film too much. I <laughs> would. I tried getting this like epic shot of me walking out and just taking it all in and looking super cool and I, I didn't want to just give up halfway. I wanted to keep trying to make it up there. I didn't figure I would just cut it up and you know post, but I just I couldn't even make it to the spot. I literally just literally just turned around and just threw my hands about like what gives? On the plus side, conditions were exactly as I wanted them, as I thought they were gonna be. All the research that I went to it to doing that this weekend clouds, where the clouds were going to be, what height they were, what time to be there. It was there. We were, we were there. I'm really glad that that came out as I expected it to because it's not always going to be like that. I mean, God, I don't know how many times I go out on a photography trip and the conditions are absolutely not what you thought they were going to be. So I think the more you do it and the more you research it, it's the easier you can get to understand and determine like the range of what it could be and what it, you hope it will be and what it might be. Like that's, I think I'm getting better at that and I'm really, I'm really stoked on that. I was literally setting my camera up, kind of just eyeballing it because I couldn't really see because the wind was just piercing my eyes. It hurt that bad. I set the camera up. I would literally just hold the focus in, hit the shutter and I would just bear hug the tripod just to keep it from moving. And I would just sit there and try to hold as still as I could. So I did look back at my photos. I think I got one that was okay. It is, it is what it is, and it was, it was all right. I, it was, it was all right. Glad I went though. Good experience. Thank you for watching this video. If you can, please like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you can, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more coming, please hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. It should be down below. Uh, yeah, we'll get warm and play video games.